Hello, my lovely YouTube audience. Welcome to a little update video about the uh, about my computer drama story. It's basically a continuation. It's like part three or four of the seventeen part series, which you can download as a podcast on iTunes. If you go, <laughs> no, just kidding. Hopefully, this will never have seventeen parts. Hopefully, this is the last part because I frankly want to put I want to put this entire chapter of my life behind me as soon as possible, and hopefully, you guys as well. Anyway, yeah. So it's an update. Uh, basically, in the last video that I made about my computer, I basically told you guys how my computer had turned into the equivalent of a brick. Although a brick might actually be more useful since you can actually build stuff with it. It'd be more like that uncle uh, at, at like the family gatherings uh, who always gets drunk and who is like really stupid and he's basically like a hobo and you don't really want to be too connected to him but you have to love him nonetheless. I love my computer but he's a little bit, he's, yeah, he's acting like a hobo, pretty much. Okay, so uh, let's try to, well, let's try to get started. Basically, my graphics card crashes all the time, that's the problem if, 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 you, weren't, uh, if you weren't informed. Now, here's the continuation. Okay, so I was getting ready to ship my computer back to England to get it fixed there, but I was I was actually in the process of comparing all sorts of shipping companies and possibilities. I was comparing DHL to the Belgian Post Service to other stuff, but it was all really expensive, uh, so that's why it actually took a little bit longer than I had promised you guys. Um, well, then, then I suddenly came to the conclusion that I was yeah that I hadn't taken a backup of my computer yet, so I decided to turn it on and try to put and try to put a lot of important stuff on my on my USB stick. For some reason, my computer decided to have its periods. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like, like it, it, it's it's like a woman, basically. Yeah, my computer was acting up while I was taking the backup. I couldn't do, I couldn't take the backup, and at the end, I couldn't even turn on my computer for some fucking reason. I decided not to touch my computer for two yeah, for two straight days. Then I turned it back on again. It crashed. Well, I couldn't even, I couldn't, I couldn't even get to the fucking start menu, like like to make the backup. So I was fucked. I couldn't even use the computer anymore. It wouldn't even, it wouldn't even turn on. So I was like, okay, I need to locate this problem. Maybe I can take a backup if I if I remove the graphics card and if I use the built-in motherboard graphics card temporarily and maybe if it, if it doesn't crash there then maybe that yeah maybe my graphics card will be the issue I don't know so I, yeah I, I opened up my computer tried to take out my graphics card but for some reason it wouldn't budge now that was kind of well kind of kind of troublesome I guess I mean it just I, I couldn't remove it for some fucking reason then I noticed that when I placed in the second graphics card so the replacement card a couple, like a couple of months ago I had not used the screws that well the screws that I could have used to put it in place real tight so well I used the clippers instead like the plastic clippers if you are familiar with how to build a computer you would know that a lot of PC cases have like these plastic clippers to keep the uh, graphics card in place now I had just used that without using the screws to put it yeah to put it in place even tighter. Now I doubt that that actually was the issue. Uh, well, that that was the reason why my card kept crashing. But for some reason, since I did that, it hasn't crashed on me since. I haven't really used my computer for that much uh, well, f well for for that much time yet. But I doubt I doubt that I fixed it. I mean that would kind of be fucking miraculous. <laughs> so I I don't think it's fixed. But for some reason, I can I can play games again and I can do stuff. So I'll give it a try. And if it does crash one more time, I will definitely send it to England and get it fixed then. But yeah, since it hasn't crashed on me since, I, there is no point in sending it there because they wouldn't even be able to locate the problem by chance, probably. So yeah, because there is no way to like physically make the crash happen. Like you just have to be lucky or unlucky and have it crash on you for some random reason. Like. I don't know, sometimes it's when I'm playing games, sometimes it's when I'm doing other stuff, watching porn, whatever. Okay, so pretty much now I've used the screws, now now the graphics card is tightly in place, and I can now play games, just just like in the beginning. Hopefully the hopefully the problem has been solved. Um, I'm actually... Well, now this, this was the update. Now I actually have some other stuff to talk about. Okay, pretty much I'm thinking of making another Pokemon series. I'm getting really hyped up about a Pokemon series. And since my view lock challenge, my Pokemon Platinum view lock challenge, if you aren't... Uh, or if you don't know what I'm talking about... Uh, that was a really successful series. I really like. I really enjoyed making that because of all the interaction with my subscribers and with uh, and with you guys actually choosing the Pokemon I had to play with uh, for like 100%. So you guys could screw me over or help me a lot. Okay, so I, I, I guess I could go over the rules of the view log challenge. Well, basically, I oh yeah. For, for first, I'll get to the point. I want to make another view log challenge video or let's play. Sorry, but and now I have the problem. What game could I possibly make a let's play of? 
Um, I can't make a I, I can't make a vlog challenge let's play on every game since certain games don't have the possibility to like use a cheat code to encounter a random wild Pokemon of your choosing. So I can't make a let's play I can't make a vlog challenge on uh, black and white. Two? No, no, well, wait, it works for Black and White 1, it works for Black and White 2, it works for Pokemon Platinum, and it, but it doesn't work for Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Yes, yeah, Soul Silver, yeah, and also it doesn't really work for Pokemon Emerald as well. I would have to, like, edit the ROM with, like, uh, some sort of, like, 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 ROM hack program to physically make some Pokemon appear in a route. It would be kind of troublesome, I guess, uh, but I guess it could be possible if I really wanted to put a lot of time in it. Anyway, yeah, so concerning the rules of that Vlog challenge, uh, I w I'm, I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna tell them one more time if you're new to this uh, channel. Uh, then please tell me if you think if you if you would enjoy a Pokemon Let's Play. Like it has been a while since I last made a Pokemon video, so hopefully you guys are still into that stuff. Okay, so a Vlog challenge is basically like a Nuzlocke challenge, as in if a Pokemon dies, he is considered dead, and I can't play with him anymore. Then I can only catch well in a Nuzlocke challenge, you can only catch one Pokemon on each new route or area. Now this is different for me because it's a Vlog challenge. Every episode I name one type, one Pokemon type, be it Psychic, Dragon, Fire, whatever. Um, and then you guys have to vote for your favorite Pokemon of that type. And then the next episode I catch the Pokemon that won the voting. If it is a tie between Pokemon, then I use some sort of like random, well, ra like like random number picker to pick the winner, and then I will try to catch that Pokemon. I only have one shot at it. If I fail, if if I kill it, if 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 I run out of Pokeballs, if he runs away, whatever, then it is a failure, and then I have to wait for the next episode to catch the next type of Pokemon. And that can actually be kind of hard because if I fail to catch the fire Pokemon, then I'll have to wait until I have covered all the other types before I can actually re pick the fire type. So yeah, then I'd have to spend a lot of episodes without a fucking fire Pokemon. Uh, so that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video, this little update video. If you haven't masturbated to my sexy voice yet, then please do now, because I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucked up. Now to think that most of my audience are minors, I could get into serious into serious trouble for this. Anyway, yeah, uh, stay safe, my buddies, my viewers. Hopefully you guys enjoy my channel still. Uh, I would love to make more Pokemon videos and other videos at that, but hopefully I have fixed my problem. I don't think so, but I guess I can try to be optimistic. Now that was the update. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. If I keep on talking, then this video will be way too long, and a lot of people will have already clicked away by the time they see that this video would be over 8 minutes long, so I have to go for 7 minutes and 59 seconds. Have I told you that I have recently purchased two pairs of shoes, and they're fucking amazing, and I have gotten into Game of Thrones. Goodbye!